one of the most talked about Korean child actresses in the last two decades, when Moon Kun-young had to go through surgery after being diagnosed with compartment syndrome, the K-drama industry collectively held their breath, wondering whether she would be able to take back her spot at the top after her long break. So, where is she now? Has she reclaimed her success? In this video, we'll go through the highs and lows of Moon Kun-young's career, from her incredible early start to the new projects that she has been exploring recently. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Moon Kun-young's time in the industry began as a child model, appearing in commercials and magazines before making her acting debut in 1999's On the Road. Her breakthrough came in 2000 with the drama Autumn in My Heart, where she played the younger version of Song Hye-kyo's character alongside Che Woo-hyuk. Following this, Moon Kun-young ventured into film in Lover's Concerto and the 2003 horror movie A Tale of Two Sisters, which cemented her reputation as a top actor, despite being 16 years old. A year later, after appearing in My Little Bride, Moon Kun-young earned the title The Nation's Little Sister, and in the subsequent years, continued to shine in dramas and movies like Innocent Steps and Painter of the Wind. Her performance in Painter of the Wind, in which she plays Shin yun Buk, a painter who, after disguising herself as a man, is mentored by the master Kim Hong-do, won her many awards, including the Pixang Arts Award for Best Actress, Seoul International Drama Award's Best Actress, and Popularity Award, as well as the Taesang at the SBS Drama Awards, among others, making Moon Kun-young the youngest recipient of the Taesang at all three networks, at only 21 years old. And Moon Kun-young was only getting started. Between 2008 and 2017, she played in a slew of dramas, movies, and even stage plays, including Cinderella's Sister, Tong Dam Dong, Alice, Goddess of Fire, and The Throne. However, in 2017, Moon Kun-young's career came to a halt when she had to undergo emergency surgery to address severe muscle pain in her right arm, leading to the cancellation of her scheduled stage performance. She was in the middle of her second theater play, Romeo and Juliet, where she was starring as Juliet opposite Park Jung-min's Romeo. As it came out, the cause of her pain was compartment syndrome, which is a medical condition where pressure builds up within muscle and nerve of compartments. This heightened pressure can block blood flow, leading to potential lasting damage to muscles and nerves. Luckily, when she experienced the sudden pain in her right arm, Moon Kun-young quickly went to get medical help, and acting on medical advice, she underwent immediate surgery, which meant that Moon Kun-young was able to make a full recovery, although her agency revealed that she had been expected to undergo two or three additional surgeries as part of her treatment plan. Having had to go through such a difficult experience, Moon Kun Young naturally took a break from the industry to rest and recover. But it didn't take long for the nation's younger sister to come back to fan screens. In 2019, Moon Kun Young returned to acting, starring alongside Kim Sun-ho in the K-drama Catch the Ghost. In the series, she played the character Yu Ryong, a determined police investigator who joins the force to uncover the mystery of her missing twin sister. Suspecting that her sister may have fallen victim to the elusive Subway Ghost serial murders, and disappointed in the initial lack of attention to her sister's case, Yu Ryong partners with Ko ji Suk, a by-the-book officer who, despite his promotion, ends up working in the subway after a breakup with his ex-girlfriend and colleague. Ha Mari. The drama did relatively well, peaking with a 4.148% viewership nationwide, and featured a star-studded OST, including artists like Wu Song from The Rose, Korean singer-songwriter Jun Yeol, Ro Taehyun, and Park Ji Min or Jamie, making it a perfect return for a talented actress like Moon Kun Young. Furthermore, in 2022, Moon Kun Young made her directorial debut at the 26th Bucheon International Fantastic Film Festival. Festival, B-Fan. 
Korea's biggest annual genre film festival. Her project included three short films, namely Abyss, The Stage, and Be In My Dream, each with a unique perspective on the complexities of the human experience. According to the Korean Times, Abyss, which stars Moon, revolves around a woman who falls deeper into the abyss at the moment she thinks she has broken her limits. The stage follows a woman who keeps finding her way back to the stage again and again despite many obstacles. Be In My Dream centers on a man handling grief and loss after saying goodbye to a loved one. The incredible directing skill that Moon Gun Young shows in these short films just goes to prove her incredible talent and deep understanding of the screen, acting, and filmmaking about the project. Moon Gun Young herself said, I didn't go into directing with any ideas of where I'd end up. I'm grateful that I met an amazing film crew who have put up with me a clumsy filmmaker. As for what Moon Kun Young has been up to recently, the actress hasn't been in the public eye much, maintaining a relatively low profile. But by moving to a new agency, Moon Kun Young left Namu Actors, where she'd been for 16 years, for Craig Company in 2022 and delving into directing with her short films. It seems like fans of the actress can expect to see more projects coming from Moon Gun Young in the coming future. What do you think? What is your favorite Moon Gun Young movie or drama? What type of drama or movie would you like to see Moon Gun Young star in next? What K-drama actors or actresses would you like an update video on next?